Yeah, yeah, what's good, yo? Welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where, as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. I'm your host for tonight, Pat Scorpio, the New England representative, and as always, I got my man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yo, what's good? It's LB, Lauderdale Boss, a.k.a. Shutterworth the God, the GOAT artist, Soul Wars creator, ringgangradio.com in the building. Yes, sir. Ring gang in the house forever and always. And as always, I got my other man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yo, what up? You already know who this is. Your boy, King P. Bodega P. Bodega Box in the building. Ring gang radio all day. Let's get it. Hey, Bodega P. You know, straight from the sewer, although he's above ground today. You know, he's taking a break from fighting crime and fighting all types of, you know, wild cats. You know, obviously, niggas that be wearing tin foil or niggas that have brains in their stomachs, all that wild shit. You know, he's, you know, he's taking it easy, you know, cooking his fish and whatnot, you know. And as always, man, we salute you for your service. You know what I mean? And last but certainly not least, I got my other man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Hey, what's good, y'all? This is the Fight Architect, a.k.a. PJ, a.k.a. the man from... Don't worry about it. Don't know, worry about wherever I'm located at any time and any place. Hey, that's what I talk about. From the I parts just... I know. <laughs> from the parts I know. All you know is they put their milk in a bag. Can you dig it? Uh, so, yeah. So, other than that, you don't need to know where he is. But, um, yeah, you know, we got a, you know, we got a nice show of recaps tonight. Uh, particularly, obviously, the biggest, uh, biggest fight from this past weekend. Involving one Clarissa Shields, you know, going for her second undisputed championship against Marie Eve DeCare. I think that's how I'm pronouncing it. Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not cool with those French names. Sometimes they be, they be, uh, you know, one thing and I say the other. Or sometimes, you know, PJ, can you confirm that I actually pronounced that name correctly? <laughs> Marie Eve DeCare. There we go. No. Yeah, well, you, no. why, why should we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. <laughs> Fight was trash. Oh damn, nigga! You didn't even let us even warm up into that shit. Uh, <laughs> nah, he nah. woke up and chose violence. Didn't I say why should I care? Damn, son! Tell him why. Tell him why you mad, son. Well, he didn't to care, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, yo. But you know what? You know, LB, tell us tell us why you mad, son. Why why was it trash, bro? It's, you know, tell tell the public. <sighs> Cause of, instead of a real meaningful fight, we got like a, a fake meaningful fight. Like another, you know, a unification, undisputed fight. But if we learned our lesson from then Dango and uh Crawford. Oh Lord, have mercy. All, oh, under, all, all unification fights aren't equal. This yeah. isn't Kazaki versus Kessler. <laughs> you, 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 I'm just getting in. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, in the way, so, I mean, obviously, you know, I mean, yes, they're not always, but obviously, sometimes you just don't have to like them, but you know, sometimes they are a necessity, you know. Yeah, but then it's like, okay. We have it. So at least let me get some fades then. And we didn't see, I could take the low value, low budget, high school gym, gymnasium feel, the ECW backdrop. Like, okay. I could take that. You know, I could take the, you know, the, the low audio sound on the commentary. Very low. By sound the way. Like they had some sound issues. I could take the fucking janky promoters outlook y'all got. Like I, I could take all of that. Like literally, I'm cool with all of that. But if I'ma put up with all of that, you better give me some fucking fades. And I didn't get any fades. Well, technically, on the undercard, there was one. I mean, the first fight was. Should have been an actual stoppage because it was because Marlin and you know, to Marlin yeah, and I missed the first fight, so you know. I mean, yeah, that fight was actually pretty brutal. Like that should have actually been stopped. You know, I was surprised it wasn't. 
and then you know, we, and we then we did get an actual fade in the second fight. You know, they stopped it. You know, yeah, nigga, all the fights need to be fades. Mm-hmm. And none of this fucking one and done shit. Y'all yep. want to be on the fucking independent women Destiny Child shit. Then y'all got y'all gonna get the same criticism as men do when you have a fucked up trashy ass pay per view. Yeah, and the one thing I do want to bring up too, because I mean, I, 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 I equal, admit, rights, equal equal praise, equal shitting on. I mean, yeah, I mean, there was another fight I wanted to give, um, you know, talk about it, like Danielle Perkins. Like, I was happy to fall on her because, you know, she has a hell of a story. You know, she was a former college yeah. basketball player. She got, she was part, she was uh, temporarily paralyzed with an accident, and then she took up boxing to, you know, to get her body back to where it needs to be. And, you know, obviously, she had, she's like, she's currently like 2 and 0. And, I mean, that fight, I was expecting, I was expecting a fate in that fight. And then, and yeah, because she definitely has skill. Like, I actually like her style. It's a little slickness. It looked like it could be forceful, intimidating, but the stamina needs to the stamina needs to be worked on. Yeah, cause, thank uh, you. After a while, I needed to see some bombs and yeah. stuff. Yeah, she a big girl. So some big real. Girl. So was her opponent, Monica Harrison. I was like, good lord, like you know these 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 are almost as big as me. I mean, I, I don't have no complex or nothing, but I was just you know I was astounded. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but but those two big women ended up being kind of a half of a big struggle fest, unfortunately. Yeah, cause, yeah, w- yeah. Once they, once what? they, yeah, once they, once they got uh, gassed, it was kind of like yeah, yeah. The the the, the moment that the moment that uh, Perkins circled around Harrison all the way and did nothing, I'm like, yeah, this this ain't it. But, but, but what, why can't they fight three minute rounds? Oh, so, so oh, we, yeah, so, yeah, if we add an extra minute, we're just going to get an extra minute of circling around. Yeah, okay, nah. Well, honestly, someone, probably, someone would probably, like, a TKO probably would occur if they did. If not, they did. not the way they fighting. It'll, it'll be a double TKO. Both niggas would just stop fighting. It'll be like fucking Data 5000 and fucking uh, um, Kim Kimbo slice all over again. <laughs> R.I.P. Kimbo. Yeah, R.I.P. Kimbo, especially. But, yeah, no. Uh, so at least you know the undercut. At least I mean there were you know the one there were a couple of there was a fade and then there was one that should have been a fade. But you know you obviously closer shield. You know the she's pace, uh, it, was, it just wasn't entertaining, bro. Like you, look, the first fight being good on a pay per view that's like a gimme. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, a lot of people ain't gonna get to that first fight on time sometimes, especially. If the card overall isn't really compelling enough, you're not gonna rush to see the first fucking fight on a damn Carissa Shields fucking card. Like, let's let's be honest. Yeah, you know, it, it just happens to be you know it's Friday and we're in a pandemic and you know none of us had didn't have really much going on. In my case, I had well, a day. I, did. I had shit going on. Yeah, I mean, I did all my things by that time, so I was just like, you know what? Let me go turn this on. And just you know, and just uh, and just chill out. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I mean, yeah, I mean, like I, said, I mean, I found some entertainment, but I just like I felt like you know, like Elby said, so the other card could have been better, and a couple things could have been better. <laughs> you know? Yeah, like the the matchmaking, like the the pacing. I, I felt like the card was like almost too long. Yeah, because there was a lot of time. There, there was a lot of like yeah, too long, air. too long, and not enough high spots. Yeah, like to me, it wasn't. I, I, I don't. I, know, I, I, I honestly don't even know how. I, I don't even know how I stayed up to watch all of that because I had a chimichanga and had the itis, and yet managed to. That would have been the perfect time to sleep through this boring stuff. But yeah. <laughs> damn. Yeah, this nigga, yeah, P kept it all the way real. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you would have been at least the knockout of the night. You know what I'm saying? And this nigga stayed all the way like, man, I, I gotta see who's gonna win this like, thrilling matchup. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I, only to get slap fest after slap fest. And of course, we're, we're, we're talking about, you know, the main event with Clarissa Shades and Marie-Eve to care. Um, PJ, so yeah, I mean, obviously you, you have a very... Uh, your eyes very uh, reliable. So tell us what you actually thought about that fight. What were your opinions on it? Young. Huh. Um, basically, the boxer versus the karate background fighter. <laughs> Dakara has a karate background, so you can see it all the time with her back and forth stepping, which also adds to her jitteriness. She's also super awkward, 
which added to those little moments of uh, Clarissa trying to figure out what's going on. Clarissa would box, but the problem is she fell in love with trying to get a counter right hand, even though it was never there. She kept trying to force it, even though there was no reason to. That's why she would just sit there and stare at her. Yeah, and the reason why, obviously, because she heard the... She, and honestly, like, we all follow her Twitter. And look, one of the things she's criticized, she's criticized about constantly is her lack of KOs. Like, you, like, as we mentioned before, you can't talk how she's talking, but you're going the distance. You know, you only have one career knockdown to your to your name and two TKOs where they didn't go down. You know what I mean? So she, she heard them criticism, so she wanted to get that knockout. You know, and to care... You know, she was under She's 17 and 0, but Takara has less power than she does, which which is incredible to even think about it. Like, she has no career knockouts or knockdowns. You know what I mean? So She doesn't sit in her punches. You could tell it in her style. Oh, yeah, she doesn't. And, you know, and yeah, Clarissa, she kept on forcing that right hand. Like, you know, I was just like... You have to look curse because once she landed that first lead, right, she was like, hmm, maybe I could do this all night. Yeah, and, and and she kept on doing it all night, and she landed. And the, and the worst thing is she was landing them, but she the yeah, character she landed them to like maybe half the fight, and then after that it was like fuck. It was frustration and Roy Jones impersonating, no jabbing, no walking down. Just let me follow you and showboat. No body shots either. I'm like the, yeah, the worst part about it is, um. The moment she would use her left hand, and that's when she wasn't even thinking about it, is when she put Marie in the worst positions, where she could have probably gotten capitalized off something. But she wanted to keep landing that right hand, and I didn't know why. Yeah, she because she wanted a knockout. That's that. That's quite simple. She wanted to. She wanted. She wanted because she was talking. She wanted that Ann Wolf knockout. You know, and Ann Wolf obviously has probably the most famous knockout in women's boxing history so far. Uh, tonight, today. <clears throat> You know, and she she kept the force because she because she was a gamer and wolf. Yes, you know, I got put we, we got definitely got put respect on her name. My my bad. Hall of Famer and Wolf. You know, because she'll probably find you. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to trade hands with her. You know, I, I'd rather just give her some dap and I let her I let her like scream at me while while she puts me through her routine and shit like that. But yeah, I don't want her hitting me. <laughs> you just throw the car that's hooked up to the bag that she got you running after. <laughs> Ooh, yo, but yeah, she, yeah, Shields was just like it, 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 it like it, it, it was just like, oh, geez, like she, like Dakar obviously has a good, good enough chin, but she wasn't going there. Like Dakar only got maybe got hurt like maybe twice in the fight, maybe three times. Buzz, buzz, yeah, something like more that. often she was just off balance than anything. Yeah, and that's the thing about the kid. The kid was like, honestly, like I said, I just see, can't understand how she actually wins the fights she does. Like her style is so ugly, and she made the fight ugly because Clarissa was not really prepared to handle all that rough shit. Because Takara was, she was fighting rough. You know, she was forcing her out of the ring, forcing her through the ropes, all types of shit. Like, I mean, even Clarissa Shields was saying, it, just, yeah, like she was, she was like super rough and like rough. Referee I ain't didn't gonna make no excuses for Clarissa Shields. She fought the wrong fight, so she get just as much blame for the fight being ugly as the care. <clears throat> but first of all, it's your first pay per view. There's yeah. a reason why damn Floyd went off on Gotti the way he did. Absolutely. <laughs> first pay per view. <laughs> yeah. The, your co main just had a knockout, nigga. You better beat this guy's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. You need like, if you, like I said, pay per view obviously is for for, for special reasons. Um, now, obviously, to care. Yeah, and, and not anymore. Now, now uh, we're Oprah Winfrey with the pay per views. You get a yeah, pay per view. Yeah, surprisingly, in 2020, we have all these services now where you know, and surprisingly, some shit is still on pay per view. Like, if I think it was, I mean, and we'll get into this. We'll get into this. Obviously, the this particular fight later. Later on, you know, where I will go into one of my famous PBC rants and believe me, I have one brewing. But yeah, not every fucking fight is pay per view. Not, I mean, looks at Chris and Shield. How significant you claim it to be. Yeah, it's not. Like, I mean, you got to, I mean, now it depends. You know, if you don't want to wait until someone buys the fight or whatever, I mean, there's got, there's got to be some other thing. Like, I, I know there are plenty of people that want to pay for fights, they do. You know, like, but an independent pay per view. Does that sounds? Yeah, yeah, but independent pay per view, like, if you're gonna do that, you gotta have some firepower behind it. 
You know, you gotta have some real firepower. And yes, I mean, obviously, like, we all support women's boxing. We all do. And like I said, yeah, you know, there's no no question about it. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I don't even mean to cut my nigga off. Mm-hmm. Pat telling the real, because I know people gonna be like, man, I don't know. One of y'all sounding. One of one of y'all was talking real greasy. Yes, that one of y'all is me. Because <laughs> I, I know somebody's gonna be, man. I don't know. Look. <clears throat> Yeah, like someone already talked crazy. Like I just checked in our comments earlier today from a, from the previous Clarissa pay per view, and you know some cat in there was in his feelings because we mentioned that Savannah Marshall was you know should be, and we'll get into that part later in the cast too. You know should be the next uh, opponent, and he you know he kind of got into his feelings. I didn't even respond to that dude yet. I, I probably should. You know I just but it was too early. Uh, uh, dude, I needed breakfast first before I responded to that, and so did, apparently so did he. <laughs> You know what I mean? You know, too early to be, you know, to be, to be on someone's jock like that, bro. So, um, but yeah, it's just yeah, and, and just just to, yeah, basically what, what Pat said, and just to finish off with, if you don't believe us when it comes to our respect and admiration for women's boxing, go to the website, go to the YouTube page, or go to Anchor, uh, Apple, whatever the fuck you listen to the podcast on Spotify. Scroll down. And just look at the titles to the damn podcast episodes. Mm-hmm. You're going to see mad t- different topics about women's boxing fights. Hell, I've even I've even did a prediction video on one. I actually yeah. I actually wrote bars for one. <laughs> you know you. We don't we don't drew pictures, wrote bars, all this shit like dedicated whole episodes. Shit or uh, what? Pursuing Taylor, mm-hmm. uh, Brock is, uh, M- McCaskill, like the list yeah. goes on. She yeah. previous fights. Uh, Eddie Hearn, Eddie fight. Hearn, Summer Series, cause with the, with the women. We talked about all that shit. Yes, yes. So, and, and, I, and I don't even say this. I'll put it this way. Look, nobody else talks about women boxing as much as we do. Right. And, 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 I, and, I'm, and that's including the big dogs. Yeah, you know, it's not. That's we, including we, everybody. Yeah, not just one particular woman fighter. Like you know, like we talk about every like like if you like it, like if you do something, we talk about it. Like we we like I mean, it's you put on a, a, a good ass fight, we talk about it. You you're about to be in a good ass fight, we talk about it. If if we thought you was gonna be in a good fight and you ended up being in a trash fight, we talk about it. Yeah. Just waiting for that. <laughs> Yeah, and and that's what Shields and the Care was to me. Like it's ten rounds, it's two minute rounds. I know, unfortunately, like I said, I mean, I'm one of the people that you know that is a fan of three minute women's fights because we've seen three minute women's fights that turn out to be complete fades. And super bad. Like, yeah, super bad. Yeah, and then you know, but unfortunately, this is the type of fight. Like if you if you do, where if you say three minutes, niggas will probably tell me get the fuck out of here, Pat. Fuck out of here with that. <laughs> you know. I don't want to. Dude, you'd have to, I'd have to end up fighting both of them if you told me them shits gotta go three minutes. <laughs> I'm saying, like, I'd be like I, look, I got... no, no, <laughs> there's no, no way we gonna do a Bison, Ken, and Ryu type shit right now. Cause <laughs> I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna see three minutes of this, y'all. But to start fading yeah. it up over here, yeah. And then fortunately, like I said, it's just, it just got to me like, you know, Dakar's offense was is it, it was nothing, it was non-existent. You know, like she, she t- I mean, it was there in spurts. Yeah, but the punch stats there, like it, it was such a large disparity because she wasn't really connecting on nothing. Like it was just they were keep away punches. But the thing is, whenever Shields would get close and tag her with a hard shot, before sometimes before she would clinch, the care with them like just swing wild. Cause remember, if you go back to the first video when we all talked about this, you know, we told you the care likes exchanges even though she don't have power mm-hmm. and she would exchange with shields now they weren't the extended exchanges that she had in previous fights no because shields is a higher caliber boxer so she would throw like two and then she would clinch or throw an elbow and get rough mm-hmm. but the thing is someone like that who has who, who, who has karate experience martial art experience especially something that is footwork dominant and yes, b- boxing is footwork dominant too. Yes, it is. The average person doesn't look at it like that because 
a lot of the boxers don't really don't they don't fully utilize footwork the way it should be. Absolutely. Whereas karate and taekwondo, motherfuckers switching stances, this, that, that, hurricane kick, axle kick, all types of shit with the feet. Mm-hmm. And, and you're not even necessarily talking about kicking. So now the care is exchanging with shields or but she was she was land like she was with land a, a right hand on the care. The care will go back, throw two punches, she'll step in a little bit, and then they'll clinch. Yeah, that was it was pissing me off. The care was clutching constantly. Now, but the thing is, Shields was approaching it wrong. After a, look, after a, after you land a couple good shots and you see somebody's on that John Ruiz shit, you can't just try to beat him with one punch. Mm-hmm. You have to wait, throw the jab, and like PJ said earlier, that left hook was working in them exchanges. But she was focusing on the right hand, and then she was slapping with the right hand. Yeah, <laughs> and so it's it, like you defeat the purpose. Yeah, no, I can't. And I can't. Like I said, it's one thing that I can't see. I can't stand is when fighters don't turn over in their punches. Like it's one, it's one thing. Like Percy Shields has skills, but so I, I said we said this before. Someone needs to work on her punching mechanics. It's uh, so, something is clearly she, off. John Jackson, like how many punches he done trained? Like come on, like I, I it, maybe maybe she can look. Maybe she has to fight someone of a higher caliber in order for her to unlock it. No, I, mean, you, I, mean, you, I thought she would unlock it with Hammer, but if she didn't unlock it against Hammer, I don't know. She, looked, she, she did unlock it. She was punching better with Hammer. The thing is, it was the same problem that she had in this fight with this fight. She doesn't know how to break down people who are unwilling to fight. If you're elite of the elite, if you're gold, gold, whatever the fuck, if you got a dozen gold medals, you're supposed to be able to do that. Right. You know, and then, I mean, obviously, yeah, you this wasn't trended at Camacho. <laughs> these niggas ain't running, these niggas ain't moving at Camacho speed. So I'm gonna be like, well, hold on, man. All right, all right, at least you, you, you 12 old him. Like, he was moving. <laughs> right. You know, and like I said, I mean, and, I, and we also we also understand too. Not there's not a whole lot of women punchers, but there are women punchers who don't who don't have who don't have who have low KOs. But like like Esparza on the card too. Esparza has only one career KO, but in her fight she was hurting that girl repeatedly, and I do mean repeatedly because she was turning over her punches, short hard punches. I mean, we don't see shots. this. We, we don't see this problem with Serrano. Yeah, no, Serrano. Serrano is an elite puncher, you know, for you know, in for, too many rounds. The, mm-hmm. the only time you wish, the, that's the only time I was good. You, the, the fight with, um, damn, what's that name? The, the chick from the chick from New York, Heather Hardy, Heather Hardy. Yeah, Heather Hardy. That's the only, that's the one time if, if you had a three minute round that you would have had a one round fight. Yeah, <laughs> two minute rounds, and, and we end up having a good fight. So it, the case could be made both ways, but look, if you a true puncher, you adapt to whatever time it is. Mm. The people who are who, the true punchers are going to get a knockout in one minute, two minutes, three minutes, thirty seconds. We'll find a way. The, thank you. They, they'll find a way. Look, if you want a street fight, are you going to be like, well, hold on. <laughs> Let's make sure this goes over a minute. <laughs> and then, you know, Bring I up your abilities. My, my abilities are charged up by then. <laughs> no. She, a, 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 a good, brisk street fight lasts 15 to 35 seconds. Mm-hmm. So, so your power better be on immediately. <laughs> Not no, well, hold on. Uh, if I could just jab him, uh, you know jab them for a little bit and I get to like three more minutes in the fight to a commercial on the street <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll have a commercial break uh, at the bus stop <laughs> you know so I mean yeah it was just it, it was just frustrating to watch because you're just like, it's like you know like I mean obviously if you've seen one Clarissa Shields fight you've seen them all pretty much like I mean yeah. 
I mean, not, not, not to say she doesn't she doesn't have any gems in her fights. Like she has some she has some good fights in her. When she fights American style boxers, mm -hmm. y'all yeah. keep throwing these you these boring ass. You, no offense, but <laughs> look look look. I'm sorry. Sometimes you just gotta be fucking real. Yeah, I mean that's LB. I mean this is that's why we, this is real talk, bro. So speak your speak your piece, bro. Like y'all are killing this girl. It's obviously that she's not a puncher mm -hmm. no no she punches hard enough and has pop but she hasn't evolved into a stoppage type of fighter she has enough strength she's big enough she has enough power right now she just doesn't fight in a way to produce knockouts mm -hmm. and she's only going to give you an exciting fight with that american style like that style on this side like Anytime you put her in there with a European fighter, the year like we even see now how the, in the men's how some of them don't really deal with pressure, and we see a lot of them will have have hard fights with journeyman level Mexican fighters, mm -hmm. and, and we see this. So, and we know the women's boxing hasn't evolved to the men yet. No, it has not. Especially in Eastern Europe and in the other the UK, all of that shit. Mm -hmm. So if you got people like Hammer, who's as accomplished as she is, who still turns her head away from a punch, like like Brock Lesnar was doing it against Velasquez. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, remember we seen. Klitsch, didn't Klitsch go do that against fucking um Lamar? Not Lamar, um Layman Brewster. Uh I've seen Klitsch go turn his head. I no, no, but Sam Peter. Sam Peter. Oh Sam Peter, and I was like, Layman Brewster doesn't turn it uh that, that fight. I mean Layman was hitting that. Layman Brewster was hitting him with like <laughs> yeah. straight on the face. Nah. Yeah. He was running <laughs> from Peter. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but my, my my point is like, so we see how when they, they can't really deal with pressure type fighters like that so stop matching her up with people like that that she has a harder chance of knocking out but then the thing is too is like she's fighting the champions it's not like she's fighting no That's random the only way they could sell these damn fights but they trying to sell it off significance instead of value sure the fights are significant but if we as the Johnny public is looking at it like hold on she's a champion the fuck mm -hmm. And remember, their highlights aren't even exciting enough to where you could put clips together where they're knocking people out or tagging people with hard punches. Yeah, honestly, I can't. I can't even remember. The, I mean, the, honestly, the last time I actually remember a highlight actually being shown for a Clarissa Shield opponent was probably the Gabriel's fight. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, that that might actually, and that was that's almost three years ago, man. I think okay, that's Gabriel's exactly. on her. I and mean, Gabriel's put her on her ass. Yeah. Exactly. That was probably Shield's best fight. Be uh, be best fight by far. In her by case. far. If you want some other ones, she has a... Uh, With Cruz Desern, her debut. Cruz Desern, yes. That was yeah, a that, that shit was a slugfest. I was surprised yeah, no uh, one went down in that. <laughs> yeah, that was a good fight. But, but yeah, that's, that's all I'm saying. Like, you have to match her up. Like, y'all, look. So instead of, and, and the other part of it with the matching her up is, if y'all gonna keep matching her like this and try to play on the significance of the fight because it's a unification or the person's undefeated or has a belt or whatever the fuck, you gotta market her as the best boxer mm -hmm. and chill on this whole fucking I'm gonna destroy her, whoop her ass, this, that, that, da, 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 da. like, calm down for the rah rah. Switch the whole approach to be on some cerebral, like, yeah, I'm the best boxer, I'm untouchable, because, I mean, these broads ain't touching her. Sell the defense aspect of the fight or, or something. Word. So people could get a, 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 a different appreciation for what you're trying to do. Yeah, I mean, if you want to do, it, I mean, I mean, Tim Bradley's probably one example. I mean, I, I've, I've compared her to Tim Bradley more often than not in terms of how she fights and punches, especially. You know, and, yeah, and, more so punches. She don't fight like Tim Bradley. Yeah, no, yeah, Tim's kind of like Tim a Tim Bradley. Punch, Tim Bradley would have killed this girl body the other night. 
<laughs> and even then, of course, with Timmy though, I mean, in terms of Timmy had to get, I mean, Timmy had to damn near lose half his brain cells in order to get his actual respect, like that, you know. And uh, so nah, nah, the, the real fans respected Bradley before that. He just had a hiccup because of the pop fight. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a Bradley fan. <laughs> like yeah, that, yeah, we, we know that's that's <laughs> why we, we know that. Now I've talked to dude before. Dude, I mean, dude is dude is cool as fan though. But yeah, I was not a fan of his fights. So I'll put it lightly. You even got a, a, a interview on the site. You know, go go to video section. Yes, sir. <laughs> so nah, nah. I'm just that's all I'm saying. Like it, 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 it's just tough love. Like you know, we want to see people be on the best shit. Like we don't want to see the next Clarissa Shields fight be a dud. Yeah. Oh, and shout up. Oh, I see Joshua. Oh, you know he's coming. To shout out to him. Talk about ring gang squared in the All Star game. Absolutely. Salute to you, yeah. Omega. That's facts. Salute. Yeah. That is big facts. Yeah. You know the, the uh, it's, you know we're all, we're, most of us are basketball fans. And All Star game. All Star game. What, what's the All Star game these days? I I, I, I I don't even know. Like we the All Stars. We the yeah. All Stars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. My pops always tell me like. Man, what the fuck you trying to watch them niggas for? They got their money. Get yours. <laughs> OG shit. You know what I'm saying? That's that's game right there. So when you you hear that enough, it's like you you gonna miss certain shows, certain movies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because of that shit. Word though, no, word. But yeah, no, but yeah, it's just not it's nothing but tough love. Like I said, I mean, we we want to see her succeed, but you know, it seems like you can't criticize people these days, especially close to shields. You know, and and we've talked about this before. If we, if we, if you know, obviously we've talked about it. And the, you know, is Clarissa Shields being blackballed as well as we were probably the first ones to actually really talk about the pay per view when it was announced. You know, yeah. You know, it's it's like it's it's just nothing but just, it's just tough love, man. Like we like I said, in uh, although we want her to succeed, and we want a two time Olympic gold medalist to actually succeed on a high level and not give people ammunition to see um, why certain things are not are not working. You know, and like I said, I mean, it is a competition. She is undisputed in her two divisions simultaneously. Um, this one, and I believe 168, not middleweight though. And we'll get into we'll get into that in a in a, in a little bit. You know, and like yeah, yeah. you can get into it right now, cuz. <laughs> oh, we really, so uh, everyone spoke their piece about the actual fight. PJP, you got anything more that you wanted to add on? Nah, I'm I'm done with this. I'm 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 done with the slap fist. You know what I'm saying? So, PJ? You know, I'll add this. Because of her Olympic pedigree, we do know she has the skill set for it. So, like LB was saying, have her, mark her more into her boxing aspect of it. When she actually decides to box people, they don't stand a chance. She out jabs them, she out counters them. <clears throat> it's just maybe a case of like how people move and if they're super awkward. And I was talking with LB about this uh, the other day too. I said, you know what? At least this is a good look for her to see what it's like to deal with somebody ridiculously awkward. So if she runs to somebody else awkward, it shouldn't be as bad. But we'll see as we go. Absolutely. And then hey. I wish she would. I also wish she would stop dropping her hands as much. But then again, she's also fighting people that aren't really Pretty giving her. Good. Yeah, really are like a, aren't really giving a formidable test, but it's like every time she like drops her hands like for no reason. I'm like what the hell? Yeah, that's why Leia Lee was knocking out everybody, and Shields is decisioning everyone to death. Yeah, <laughs> Leia Lee Le- wasn't fucking dropping her hands. She was fucking ratting off eighteen punch combos, making sure she got the stoppage, and everybody went home satisfied. Mm-hmm. Dude, if if that look, if we had social media back then, when Lay Ali was fucking fighting, yeah, <laughs> dude, she she probably she probably be bigger than what she was. I mean, obviously, you know, Bruh, and, and, she, and, and she had she had the cheat code too, like Ali. You know, obviously, you know that's the, that's the greatest name in boxing, Ali. You know, she has the great, you know, and she had a cheat code too. But she would be a lot bigger if she, you know, she had yeah. what she had, if what's available with with these fighters, both male and female fighters today. That's all I'm saying, because at the end of the day, <clears throat> you can't you can't have it both ways. You can't say, ah, well, Leia Lee got stoppages, and then, you know, back then, you know, uh, Christy Martin and all of them, they got stoppages and knockouts because, you know, 
uh, women's uh, boxing competition wasn't at the level it is now. You know, the fighters weren't that good. You know, there was barmaids and you you know all types of shit. They just came off the street. I guess I don't know what was the what's the jobber name for female boxers. I, I don't know like you know, jobber. <laughs> yeah, dudes have cab drivers, but women are like I don't know waitress like, <laughs> like you know. I guess it was a bunch of babysitters fighting. I don't know, but. <laughs> that's probably that's probably good that's probably good babysitters all that shit yeah so lunch ladies <laughs> oh yeah lunch ladies <laughs> it's so but the most blue collar thing possible <laughs> crossing guard <laughs> it's so it's so people like oh okay well you know that's why they was knocking them out you knocking out those type of level of women and, 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 and fighters then now you're like okay well the reason I'm not knocking people out because the, uh, they're better now. But you keep saying you're the gold, and you know you got two gold medals, and you know you're on a whole nother level, galaxy, universe. Then these fight, which one is it? Like, mm-hmm. you, you can't, you know. Even Muhammad Ali had some knockouts. Yeah, you know, and you know Muhammad Ali, and I was, and then he knocked out the people that kind of he knocked out people that have that were knocked out before, and some of them haven't been knocked out after. You know, it's like that, that's that type of shit. Like you know, and but if you want to at least, but if you um, obviously no, maybe another example I could use is maybe Pernell Whitaker too. Pernell Whitaker, marking them like you know Pernell. Everyone knew Pernell wasn't the biggest puncher, although he could punch. He just wasn't. But the reason why everyone always said you know Pernell yeah, tell, tell that tell tell that to Hurtado. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, you know, what I'm saying, but most people are like, but whenever you think of Pernel, yeah, but whenever you think of Pernel Wicker, you think like, oh yeah, this nigga, he, he, he couldn't touch him, like his skills were on point. And honestly, and like Elby said, that's how you probably need a marketer, like you know, put more shit in our boxing because like say saying that you're gonna destroy this and that in decision, that's not gonna work. It's not gonna work for, you know, for casuals who want to see a knock, especially if they see you know you're a big you you're a big girl, you're not a small girl, or whatever, you know, and. and you know, so you get you gotta have some you gotta you gotta have something to sell you, and I'd rather see her getting sold on her actual skills than the punching, because like I said, I mean, you can't no, that's, either that or you know just start knocking them out. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one or the other. But yeah. I, mean, at this, I mean, at this point, I mean, I said she has an eighteen percent KO ratio, so I mean, yeah. I mean, at this point, like, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to go on a serious streak before someone will actually say, hey, you're a puncher now. You know, it's. Hey, it? I mean, hey, you work for Charlo. Uh, shout out to Jamel Charlo. That's very true. <laughs> yeah, dude, dude was, dude was from 50% for, for like, for a while. And then after that, he's bodying people left and right. That, in fact, you may need to go, to, you may need to go to his camp, you know, and <laughs> see, see what's good, like, what made him flip his on switch and shit. You know, <laughs> so. yeah, no, but yeah, like I said, we we we, we want to see her succeed, but we don't want people like if we like if you don't give the tough love, because it's not there's, there's a lot of people that don't want to give her tough love for various reasons, and I won't get into those because we we've done that plenty of times, you know. But yeah, you know, we want to see her succeed, and you know, we don't want to see the haters or whatever give her all types of you know give her the ammunition. And I know now everyone's gonna be waiting for the pay per view uh, pay per view sales to be released. Which I'm sure they're gonna up the pole, like, hmm, them ring gang guys had it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, it's good, and, and you know, and like I said, man, the polls. <laughs> it's, it's, de- it's definitely gonna be, uh, it's, it's definitely gonna be interesting once they do get released. Um, shout out, big face. I see you, I see you, my guy. Salute, you know, big face, man. That's the dude, Salute, like, the- big face worldwide, big faces worldwide. Shout outs, <laughs> Dolly. <laughs> Yo, yeah, y'all make yeah. sure y'all check out his channel. Yo, he's on point. Yeah, no big, uh, big faces the, on that real shit. Like, uh, like ring game, you know, call it how he sees it. You know what I mean? And fellow uh, uh, Golovkin fan, or at least a neutral. <laughs> yeah, neutral. And, <laughs> at least yeah. a neutral sounded dude. <laughs> yeah, and also talented as well too. I know he's 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 out there doing big things. You know, he's about to you know get his movie popping off and everything like that. You know, he's just like us. Oh, like, yeah, you know. yeah, that's true. That's right. Yeah, his creativity is outside of the box, just like us, man. So yeah, definitely salute that man. You know, and support him too, man. Sub to his channel and everything, and his Twitter and everything, man. I see all of that shit. Twitter, all of that. Absolutely. You know, but yeah, so. 
I think I think now we can go into the the next part of the Clister Shields uh, discussion. So, P, why don't you lead us into it? Okay, let's get it. So, you know, what I'm saying afterwards, after the fight, after all the slap fest, you know, everybody was wondering, well, what's next? Okay, <laughs> what's what's next? Because you know. I'm, I'm, miss, I'm undisputed in two divisions, yada, yada. Okay, so let's see. What's the challenge for Clarissa Shields? So everybody wants to know who she going to face next. Who do we want her to face next? Okay. And, I mean... From uh, for me, I was like, well, I mean, she 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 gotta she gotta see Savannah Marshall, and then as soon as I think that in my head, I'm hearing her 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 hit him up promo, like, okay, <laughs> okay, she like she okay, he, you you said that with your chest, you know, say you said that with your chest, mm-hmm. so you know, saying and then other oh, the people had some of the best post fight interviews in the game. She, was like, she had me that she was like, well. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, or, if you want me to fight Katie Taylor, you know what I'm saying? You got to offer me a milli. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to lose my ass. I'm like, oh, boy. <laughs> like, that was all cringe. But then when she started getting into the Savannah Marshall, I'm like, okay. She said it with her chest. And she got no breasts, so she said it with all that chest. <laughs> <laughs> Facts, facts, facts. So, hey, hey, she said it, not me. So, but anyways, I mean, she she be keeping it real. That's why that's why I fucks with it. Like, I respect mm-hmm. that shit. So, yeah. you know, what I'm saying we we thought, you know, Ring Gang, you know, we got the best polls. So we was like, you know what? Let's give it. Let's give it to him again. So, you know, our poll right afterwards was, who do you want to see Clarissa Shields fight next? And the options were a Savannah Marshall. B, Amanda Nunez, who we saw do her thing last night. Shout out to Amanda. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then we have C, Katie Taylor, who we, who we just mentioned. And of course, D, Layla Ali. So we got some interesting choices. And with 50 votes, 48% went to Savannah Marshall. So yeah. she she got most of the votes. Then Katie Taylor in second with twenty eight percent, Amanda Nunez with sixteen percent, and then Layla Ali with eight percent. So the people have spoken. Yeah, and and obviously because I know because right now I've seen a lot of the articles post fight like okay yeah, Clarissa uh, Shields is too good for her own good, but it, I don't see enough of, I don't see enough of the Savannah Marshall talks for whatever reason. Now if you obviously if you're wondering who the hell is Savannah Marshall. Then you're not really a yeah. Then, 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 oh, yeah. then you're not. Then if you if you don't know, then you don't know. Then you're not really. Then don't. Then you're not well, that game. Yeah, you know. You're watching too many channels that just focus on Clarissa Shields and not enough channels and videos where it focuses on the whole entirety of the sport. Right. No, but now so here's so yeah, message. Yeah. So Savannah Marshall obviously is the only one today amateur to pro to give Clarissa Shields a loss in anything it's it's course shows actual lone loss in any co- in any fight um so savannah marshall has she's a pro and she's also the she's also a middleweight champion now and she and she has the one middleweight belt that has stopped Clarissa from actually being undisputed in three divisions now obviously you know now obviously that because everyone because now you know obviously if you know the history you know, everyone's calling for the fight because they are in their actual primes, you know, and Savannah Marshall is signed with Eddie, I believe, you know, so there's a platform available. She <laughs> you know? fight last year and she beat the shit out of this lady. Yeah, she did. Now, Savannah oh Marshall, God, like, I know most people want to downplay, you know, I know most people want to downplay Savannah Marshall, but Savannah Marshall can actually fight. No, her competition. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna big up her competition or whatever. No, but she's getting rid of those comp- that type of competition. <laughs> you know. Yeah, the, the same thing we keep talking. The same argument we just had. Yeah. Is it is it black girl loss or shorty owe you for ice? Yeah, you know, and Savannah is also undefeated. You know, so and I think and you can sell this fight because I'm pretty sure the people that are that you know that are kind of you know that are big time close to shield stands. 
they will they they will, they will hype up the fight in their own way like and then us will hype up the fight they should be hyping up the fight now like yeah we've been hyping up this fight for what two years exactly like we want at least a year <laughs> yeah and apparently now because you know the, from the results of the book, people want to see this and like i said and, and yes yeah, savannah Marshall, you know she has i think nine or ten fights right now like make the fight and i know the big thing obviously why the fight hasn't happened is money uh the money being off and i'm glad she started throwing out figures because yeah. what she said uh that that low ball and ass 250k mm-hmm. uh, yeah her and, uh yo you know what yeah her and, uh, i'm sorry yeah that is a low ball yeah a fight of this magnitude and the potential yeah, yeah. to be a classic literally the potential to be the greatest women's boxing fight of all time right un- unfortunately like wants to put the value of a happy meal remember <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't give you serrano taylor no that that could be the fight but we didn't get that so don't fuck up this one yeah, and we should have gone to Serrano Taylor. Like, I mean, that, that fight had so much, had, had serious leg. Oh, Paul Serrano. I remember yeah, on Twitter, I think she was saying she got like 150K offer. Like, nigga, that ain't shit. No, it isn't. Not, not for that not for that type of fight. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, like I said, I mean, some of the things, like, I mean, while the action is starting to get parody wise, they're starting to get close to the men's, the pay certainly is not. You know, uh, and that's and the, and we do want them to be, paid, you know, we don't want women to be paid fair, uh, be paid uh, paid fairly. And we right. we've seen all types of stars. I know Heather Hardy. You know, I know she's been a big proponent about women getting paid the way they need to be, and she's let off some stories that make me shake my head in terms of what they actually get paid. It's just like, and, and I don't think it's just the pay that needs to change. You know, the production, the the rollout, the. Uh... The way the cards, the weigh-ins, it's like they could be presented in some in a way that could just up the value, just up the uh, anticipation for women's boxing. The thing is, though, but it, 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 honestly, they actually do. I mean, I know, I know, the zone has been absolutely gold with this, and golden and golden yeah, boy. Yeah, the zone has. Yeah, yeah, the zone is actually a matchroom. Both matchroom and golden boy have been gold with this, and ESPN. I mean, top rank. They do it to uh, at least an acceptable degrees. It's not. It's just. Uh, it's just more or less. It's just more or less. Just trying to make the actual fights that people want to see, you know. And that's the thing. Like I mean, honestly, I mean, we. I mean, we. I mean, I would love to see more um, shoulder programming. Like you know, obviously the manuals have like the behind the scenes yeah. shit like that. I love this. I, I like love this. Bigger women's fights should co-main for the like for bigger men's fights. Mm-hmm. The UFC, like, yeah. like, you know, yeah, I mean, I, like, like a hooker, like Ortiz, like Super Bad should be co-maining that with, you know, w- w- with somebody who get you, who you know we gonna get us a good fight type. Isn't, shit. I think Super isn't Super Bad on that card? Well, I don't know, nigga. I just threw it out there because they both on Golden Boy. <laughs> I, I think I, she's actually, I think she's actually on that card. I'll double check. But even even then, like if she is or she is not, you gotta have you gotta start putting car, put put them in a spot, put them put them in a bigger spotlight. Now that's for the other boxer. Shields is a different case. I feel like she will benefit, you know, being on cards with other big boxers. But it seems like she just wants to force this whole independent thing, and ah, it. Yo, yeah, actually, so yeah, Superbad is on that card. <laughs> oh, see, 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 that's that's dope. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, Go- yeah, Golden Boy knows what the fuck they're doing with yeah. with, 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 with the women. Like, that's why yeah, that's why you don't see the women over here complaining about they're not getting time. They 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 getting they getting big time there. <laughs> and, and, and you're starting to see because uh, wasn't a uh, mayor on the uh, she was the co-main for the monster fight last year. Yeah, she was. So you know. Yeah. Like, that and that was a good look so i want to start seeing that more and i, I think that would help shields out like but the thing is too i mean obviously i mean shields right now i mean she's she's with salita promotions you know, dimitri salita former fighter and everything like that and i know like she so showtime has aired i think maybe all but maybe a couple of her fights you know you know i mean obviously she was on hbo and she was oh she's also fighting on the zone car before now unfortunately i know 
you know, they try to say, you know, try to get on the PBC car, but... Yeah, but how many of those cars on Showtime were with, like, big, big major fights? I mean, they mark. I mean, they marked them enough, you know. But they, but they didn't. I mean, some of them got ratings, like. It's, but I guess yeah, they do. But it's like, can you say it was done to the highest level? No, it wasn't. Yeah, that, that's that's my point. Like, if 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 guys are gonna start riding this momentum that that's that's been brewing for a while and, and get this wave, like they gotta up it a little bit. Like it's on both ends, the, the promoters and the boxers. Yeah, and, and and more important too is if you make the fights, then you won't have to have like these sideshow things, like you know Amanda Nunes. Amanda Nunes is a great fighter, like you know, you know I I, I have no I have no I have little doubt that if she transitioned to a boxing game, I I, I don't remember if she's actually had pro box fights before. She would probably be in the divisions, but the fact that people are rather saying her or Layla Ellie, who's who's long retired, who's fourteen years. I believe re- retired from the ring and her, her See, that fight got talked up last year. Mm-hmm. That somebody should have jumped on that then, right? Because <laughs> remember that fight was buzzing. That we we did videos on it. Yeah, you know, it's super buzzing because I mean Layla Ali even after all the time because because they they were throwing big shade at each other. Layla and Clarissa Shields, big shade, and uh, and then of course with K Taylor. Now K Taylor is. Smaller, so you either KT would have to go too up. Small pass. Yeah, too small pass. Like. Yeah, I mean, because you end up with another Layla Ali Christy Martin fight again, which is which. If you ever seen that fight, it's kind of cringe. You yeah. cringe watching that because it was. I, I'd rather see Layla Ali and Shields over KD Taylor. Like right, because at least Shields can be a chance. At least Ali, I, I'm like, okay, well, she got the size, like. <laughs> Yeah, you know. Yeah, nah, nah. Katie Taylor should be matched up with the with the Serranos and the Mayors, not the damn Shields. Nah, we go away from pursuit. Jeez. Yeah, like I mean, and, that, and that's pretty much the big thing with women's boxing. Like women's boxing has yet had to have the marquee like fight. I mean, I mean, been, I mean, women's boxing has been around for about fifty years, give or take, in some variation of it. And it's just like I mean, it doesn't have that many in terms of famous fights. Like I mean, obviously Ali Frazier. Four, you know, Layla Ali and Jackie, uh, Jackie Frazier lied, and then, you know, really, and then of course Layla Ali and Christy Martin, and then that's that's basically, but that's basically about it in terms of uh, a fights on that actual level. You know, it's been a while since a, a women's fight has actually gained that type of crossover. If you want to call it's it, like no look, man, it, 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 Triller, y'all might have to be the ones. That's also big facts. Triller, y'all might have to be the fucking ones. Cause in the position to do it. Some, yeah. Somebody's like somebody's gonna have to say, look, we're gonna see if we gonna change women's boxing forever. Let's throw the bag at it this one time and make that one super fight for women's boxing and just change the game. If, Absolutely. If someone said two two million dollars, I feel will get you the biggest women's fight right now. Shit, you know they'll, they'll line up too. If if Trill decides to throw a bag at one of these, and ones especially like Crystal Shields, shit, you know you you you'll have everyone will pretty much like okay, yeah, they, they'll want to find it. And Triller, in of course you know Triller, if you're hearing this, you know they might, uh, you know you can always you can thank us too. Like if you ever yeah, do it, Triller. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, do that and then thank us for you know for uh for getting that idea, giving that idea to you. Cause they could have looked, they could have did this whole first women's pay-per-view production more justice. Right. Like when you remember the first, you wanted to be like, okay, the first. Mm-hmm. This ain't no type of first you want to remember like that. No. So it's like and you can't get the first impression back. But you, if you make it, if you make the second one so fucking amazing, niggas might forget about the first one. Absolutely. Y'all throw six million at uh, the Teofimo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Teofimo versus it's mandatory. You know what I mean? Uh, y'all can fucking get three million, three million. Oh, you did with Savannah Taylor. I'm sorry, Savannah Marshall. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she, and Taylor Serrano. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because you know, I mean, yeah, million, you throw seven figures for that. Yeah, they'll they'll fight for it for sure. Absolutely. Like, come on, man! You get, <laughs> rappers, you get a female rapper performing. 
you get some uh, uh you throw in one female commentator celebrity man like y'all can have enough yeah yeah throw, yeah, throw, throw rosie perez on it rosie perez knows her shit you know throw her I in wouldn't even, i wouldn't even be mad if y'all got two female youtubers i wouldn't even care at this point yo is there a female youtuber out there like that i don't know nigga i would create one <laughs> Fuck it, holla at me. Yeah. <laughs> we got two trainers in ring game, man. Fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> that's also a fact. <laughs> man, make one at this point. I'm yeah, just ma- make a <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shit, throw, <laughs> throw a bag at Aaron, Aaron Wolf. I know Aaron Wolf will, will jump on that shit, you know. And, 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 Somebody. Yeah, it's like, I mean, we'll, yeah. See, <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll get Wolf or uh, Ali right now. <laughs> Yo, we, we, we throwing out mad game right now. The game should be, you know, well, I'll take Lay. I'll take Lay Ali and Ann Wolf with headgear on right now. Like if they want it, like facts, facts, yeah. Just, just to see it, like yo, put a YouTuber on, <laughs> Taylor, uh, Serrano, Marshall Shields. Yeah, but like, like, like yo, you promote it. Get, let me see. Let me see. Get big like uh, mulatto. Mm, let me see. No, y'all get man the stallion. Y'all can. Cardi B, man, look. Yeah, and, and you know, Triller can definitely do it. Triller, Triller is a social media platform. Like, you know, like their, their thing is... He gets names, like... Yeah, like, their, their thing is, like, you know, you know, you work with us, we'll make you four times... We'll, we'll increase your social media, you know, ranking, outlook, whatever, four times what it was before, and then, you know, send you back. You know, that's that's the whole... That's the that's literally how they man, do their thing. You're giving too much game right now, man. Yeah, we're giving a, a lot of game. Like, and like, that's it. Like, cut, cut, cut. That's it. Yeah, but, you know, man, make... The, but Savannah Marshall, like, people have spoken, like, you know, Eddie, you know, throw... Clarissa Shale told her wh- what her bottom line is. She said a half a milli. Make that... 500k, 750k. Like, come on, like... Yeah, like, the zone... Like, you really uh, gonna let the biggest fight of all time fucking disappear over a fucking mill. Yeah, and I'm saying though, know, absolutely it's like, yeah, you know, like, yeah, like we've had like, women's fights had too many too many fights have disappeared. Like, you know, we don't need this one to disappear. You know, because before either one of them takes a loss or loses their belt or whatever. You know, and that goes to another sport. Yeah, it goes on yeah, so, you know, because she has, she's she's training for you know for the same shit as Clay Collar with the PFL stuff. And you know, and you hate to see cause you know MMA is a little bit more damaging to certain aspects of the body than boxing, especially you know she's gonna be out there. But they make more money. Yeah, that's the they do. That's the one place where you know women's fighting is you know it's almost on like the it's men. It's molded as a package better too. Absolutely, you know most people most people like to downplay MMA for a lot of different reasons, but their women fighters don't really complain like that over there. They don't. They too, they, do, big, they too busy getting money in big fights. <laughs> yeah, they actually get the fights they actually want for the most part. Even even, even like even fights that some of them don't even deserve, like you know, Duna's opponent then definitely deserved to be on that damn pay-per-view uh last night. You uh, say she got a right hand. <laughs> right, PJ? <laughs> got a right hand that came straight from the moon. <laughs> damn. You know, but yeah, but yeah, that, that's just that's and that's all it is. Like you know, make the fights, make it happen. So hold you know. on, the two biggest, the two best female uh, fighters in the world both had overmatched opponents that didn't deserve to be on pay per view. Mm-hmm. And you see why now you see why Amanda Nunes was on that pole. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, because Amanda Nunes is for the most part, she's actually, I mean. Yeah, like I said, she's she's a spectacular fighter. Like she has hands, all that shit. Hands, you know, she can submit cat, submit people, all that shit. She's like she's like the whole package right now. And like, you know, hey, and she, you know, and, I mean, if that fight's gonna happen, you know, it's, it's probably going to happen. But who knows if it's gonna happen in the ring or in the octagon <laughs> or something like that? You know, we'll we'll, we'll see. Uh, but I think yeah, I think we I think we beat the dead horse on Clarissa Shields and then the pole. Uh, so...